Today's video topic is about the FIFA World Cup. Reason is, I am currently in Spain and everyone is super excited about the cup. Now, I don't know about you, but in my family, we like to make bets on who's going to win the cup. And sadly, a lot of the time, no one wins. Unless you bet on Brazil all the time, which is my strategy. But even that one hasn't paid off recently. But let's be honest, in this framework, the chances of winning aren't really that great. Now, I came across this Excel football tracker tool where you always have a winner. It's not about getting the end winner right, but basically about collecting points throughout the games. Basically, you just have to be a bit more right than the other ones that you're playing against. And the best thing about this is that no one suffers by having to calculate the points because the tool does it for you. Now, this makes it also useful for the office where you have a lot more participants. It's a great way to spend the World Cup. It just emphasizes the experience of the month. So let me quickly show you the score tracking tool I'm talking about and show you where you can download it. You can download it for free from here at excel.co.uk. I'm going to add the link to this in the description of the video as well. This is a website by Jacek Setnarski. You just need to go to downloads, scroll down, and you see a sport package here. And the first one is the link to the World Cup Russia 2018 sweepstake. Just click on it and it's going to open an Excel file. That's the first view that you're going to see. So let me quickly take you through this. Basically, we have the teams here organized according to the groups that they're playing in. Now, a very helpful feature is the time zone feature here, because with this, you can see exactly what time they're playing, depending on where you are, because the games are taking part in Russia. So that can be a different time zone to where you are. And all you have to do is select the city that's in your time zone or your own city. So let's say now I'm in Spain, I'm going to select Madrid. And I can see that the first game here is going to take part at 5 p.m. on Thursday, and it's going to be Russia against Saudi, right? So this makes sure that you don't miss a match. Now, another neat feature is that you can select the team that you're interested in, and it's going to conditionally format it. So if I scroll down, England is here, it's in group G, so it's conditionally formatting wherever it sees England on this list. So if you select another country here, so let's say I'm going to go for Spain, I can see Spain is conditionally formatted here. Now the scores that you see here are basically test data. I assume that Jacek input these, maybe it's his view on how the games are going to end. So let's just scroll down and see who he thinks is going to be in the finals, Nigeria against Uruguay. I'm curious to see if that's going to happen. But basically what you need to do is to obviously remove these scores and to input the scores as the games play against one another. So for example, if I just remove this one, you can see that the ranking here got impacted as well. And all of this is done automatically. So let's say Russia is going to lose to Saudi Arabia. I'm just going to put 0, 1. We can see that this is going to make Saudi Arabia number one in its group. Now, the logic of how the teams are going to enter the round of 16 and the quarterfinals and so on is already been programmed in here. So you don't have to do anything. You just have to maintain the scores here. Now here comes the fun part, and that's in the bookie tab. This is where you can play against one another. So let's say I'm player one. I can type in my name here. Um, player two is Mike, and player three is Sarah. Now, obviously, before the matches take part, I'm going to be filling up my view on what the outcome is for each single match. Right, so let's say I'm going to say this is going to be 0, 1. So I correctly guess the score and I get a 3. But let's say Mike guesses that it's going to be 2, 1. So he gets a 0. And Sarah guesses that it's going to be 1 and 2. So she's right about the winner, but she's not right about the score. So she's going to get 1 point. And you can see the rules of the game in here. 
Now, had the scores been different, so had Russia actually won 1-0, I'm going to get zero points, Mike is going to get one point, and Sarah is also going to get zero points. So for the ranking, Mike is going to be number one. Now, if you have more players, because you're going to be playing this in the office in your team, and you have a lot more people, you can download the pro version. So let me just scroll down. You can get it from here. You do have to pay a small contribution, but you do get the bookie tab for 20 players. So let me show you how the pro version looks like. And there is something about that version that I really like. Okay, so this is the pro version. The setup of the 2018 tab is just like we had before. For the bookie now, we have the ability to input up to 20 players. But in addition, we get a dashboard tab and a diagram tab. And in the dashboard tab, you can visually see who is in front in different ways. So this graph is by date and we have the names of the persons here. And this column chart is by person. And here we can see the points being added up. Now, the part that I really like about this pro version is the diagram that we get here. Once we enter the round of 16, we can visually see which countries are playing when, who entered the quarterfinals, and so on. And the great thing is that we get the flag of the country in a dynamic way. So let me show you this feature. In this example, we have Russia and Portugal in the round of 16. Russia wins 2-0. Russia enters quarterfinals. Now check this out. If I go to 2018, let's scroll down to the round of 16. I'm going to change that. I'm going to make this 0-2. So Russia is not going to be entering the quarterfinals. Let's go back to the diagram. We're going to see Portugal here and we see the Portuguese flag. So there is a lookup on images that's being done here and there's no VBA behind this. It's just using smart Excel functionality. If you're not that big of a fan of Excel, but you need to become advanced in it because you need it for your work and you like football, learn it with this tool. It has a lot of neat functions and features here that are gonna give you an idea about the techniques you need to create such a tool. For that though, you do need to get the password, so you need to make a small contribution. If you have any questions about the tool, you can ask it in the comments below. I'm sure Yasek is gonna be kind enough to respond. And my question to you is, who do you think is gonna win the cup? Mm -hmm.